Peace. Wow, tú hablas muy bien el español. Yeah, I'm really a more. Oye, qué bueno. Okay, we're going to this. Tú eres moreno. Hello. Bring them all. Hello. I'm ready when you are. Let's the go. Red button. Red button. It's, it's, oh. It's playing already. In the nature and power of Allah, master spiritual insight and perceiver of all truths. Take two. I rise to give all praise due to Allah and I give honor to His holy and illustrious prophet, Noble Joy Ali, Savior of Humanity, and founder of the Morris Science Temple of America. Look in the camera. Mr. Science, I know I know how to trust me, I've been doing my show for about a year. So listen, this is the question. The question is, sir, the young lady is wearing a symbol that most would understand to be a swastika. Right. I'm asking you to please uh, enlighten the, those who do not know. So I just give an intermediary, uh, intermediate breakdown on the analysis of the symbol here. When we see this symbol here, right? Please let, uh, let your audience know where we're standing. You see it, right? Yes, I do. This symbol here actually represents Master Seal, four corners, four gates. And remember the Garden of Eden had four gates, right? The east gate, the cherubim with the flame of soul was there. Before we talk about what come from the east and what come from the west and the origins and all that, we just gonna talk about this being a compass. Compass bring you news. News is information. News is also north, east, west, and south. So now when you're dealing with the science of the Moors who are the master navigators, we see that this isn't just for navigating on the soul plane or on the plane that things may manifest, but also on the spirit plane. For Allah and man are one. Now when we're dealing navigation, and when we're dealing with going from one place to another, we're dealing with ships. Ships is a method of transportation from one to another, and how you relate to those things is referred to as a relationship. So this is a symbol that explains the relationship between Allah and man in the form of from the plane of limitless to the planes of thing you may manifest where you will use a compass to draw a circle around to draw a circle around your passions and desires. Now because this is squared out we don't really understand where the circle is. But this has 490 degrees. After those 490 degrees we see another four, so that makes 720 degrees. Now, most of the time when we see things on a flat surface, we think two-dimensional. Actual facts is, in the plane that things may manifest, there is nothing two-dimensional. It's just three-dimensional and more so. Anything more than three is thought, and anything less than three is thought. Therefore, thought is the cause of it all. This show proves how thought is the manifestation of everything. Because look, when you go up, you see that up is really... So now, when we go in this way, we know that north is really... So that show proves that... Things aren't as linear as they appear, but in fact are circular. So this also has a swirling pattern. Now the swirl represents how our head grows, or how the planets revolve around the sun, or the solar system, or how the sun revolves around the galaxy, or how the galaxy revolves around the universe, which has a limit, but is in fact limitless. See. The universe is based on perception, and religion is a people's perception of, create, of the creator, supernatural, and the universe. This is a religious symbol, therefore this symbol pertains to a perspective of the universe, and the perspective of the universe is that one, it's circular in motion, which means that it's infinite, two, that it deals in the science of 90, it deals in the science of right, it deals in the science of correct to, to uh, I don't want to use the word correctness. I think it's being correct, which we might be correctness or corrected too. But either way, if you're not correct, this is a symbol that would get you corrected. And when you flip the symbol and it becomes a swastika, you know, it, it, it stands for everything opposite of what the original symbol stood for. That's the same as taking the red flag of the Moorish nation with a five point of green star in the center, which five highest principles are love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and turning the flag upside down, which is what the Moors did when we were doing these horrible things to each other, which is why we fell victims to hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms, which is a product of the lower self. Or, if we was to keep it in contrast, 
Instead of love, we was hating. Instead of truth, we was lying. Instead of peace, we had war. Instead of freedom, we had slavery. And instead of justice, we were being unjust to one another. Justice being the reward, the penalty for one's thoughts, words, and deeds. And we were dispensing the wrong rewards or in penalties for the wrong reasons. So this swastika right here is, in fact, a constant reminder of our people. Because when you see it, psychologically, it induces something in you. Peace, Lord. Just like seeing that red flag everywhere. If you notice Hitler, I ate off Hitler when he was putting those flags everywhere. He was trying to put in the deep subconscious of the people the uh, the idea of Nazism, the idea of death, destruction, hatred, slander, etc. So when you change it over, it actually does the opposite, and it allows you to tap in to the positive aspects of your subconscious mind. And this is actually a tool that is used in meditation. So if you do meditate, and you do speak to yourself, and you try to um, reach that one that's for the law, that's still a small voice, you'll be able to use this symbol in order to find your way. Because remember, this is a navigational tool, and it deals with direction. Peace. Peace. My name is Maji, and I want to give th thanks and precious to the Most High for creating all things. One love, research, and whatever you do, know thyself. Peace. One more thing, man. Facebook.com slash L-O-R-D-M-U-R-K-E-L. We here at BAM right now. We just finished. Look at the Second primer. day. You know what I'm saying? The brother right here is being an excellent director telling, instructing me with how to properly deal with the viewers. So viewers, while I'm watching you, please do remember to continue to watch me. I do appreciate everything that you do. I do love you, your energy, and your time that you do give to my program. And I do hope to meet soon. Peace and love. Thank you.